Hi everyone. Yesterday I put up a video on using the Box Tidwell transformation as a strategy for testing for nonlinearity of the logit. And upon reflection, there was one issue that I did not bring up that I kind of wish I had. And uh, I wanted to address that particular issue in a new video. So you can basically consider this video to be part two of a two video series on using the Box Tidwell transformation. So the issue at hand really concerns the performing a transformation on a predictor variable that has values of zero or negative values on it. And so keep in mind that the box Tidwell transformation incorporates uh, the computation of the natural log of that variable. And unfortunately, uh, the natural log of a variable that is uh, that a, a value that is zero or negative will be undefined, and that's going to create some problems. So I wanted to illustrate that point in this video, and then show you a, a pretty simple workaround. So just briefly, uh, yesterday the the model that we were running, the basic lo uh, logistic regression model that we were running, we were predicting the probability of a student passing a test as a function of three continuous predictors. So the pass variable is coded 0 for a student did not uh, pass a test and 1 indicating that a student did pass a test. And so we ran our analysis, uh, we got our general output, and then we wanted to perform the Box Tidwell transformation to test for nonlinearity of the logit. And that meant that we needed to take each of our three predictor variables which were continuous and perform the transformation and then incorporate those transform variables into our uh, logistic regression analysis. So, and what we found basically was no evidence of a violation of that particular assumption. So, for this demonstration, we are going to assume, just for argument's sake, that this mastery variable does not exist in our data set, and all we have is this mast.c variable, uh, which contains uh, positive and negative values. And really, the mast.c variable was uh, is just a uh, variable that has been mean centered. So we took the original uh, mastery variable and performed a mean centering on it, and that's going to produce positive and negative values. So we're going to assume that we've run our logistic regression with anxiety and interest uh, along with this mass.c variable as predictors in the model. And next we're going to uh, perform our box Tidwell transformation using this, um, our basically using a transform version of this mass.c variable. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the issue at hand. So what we'll do is I'm going to perform the box Tidwell transformation on this variable to show you what will happen uh, given that we have negative uh, values on that variable. So if I go to transform and compute variable, I'll type in tr and then mast.c and for the numeric expression I'll type in ln and inside parenthesis we'll type in mast.c that's the original variable times itself mast.c so that is the box Tidwell transformation right there it's just taking the natural log of your variable and then multiplying it by the original variable so when we click on OK what we end up with is a new variable the transform variable but you can see that we're missing a lot of values on that variable so that creates a, a real problem in terms of trying to uh, test for linearity of the logit so what we need to do is to have our original variable the mast.c variable transformed you know basically performing a linear transformation in such a way that the minimum value is not zero and essentially all values are positive so a very simple strategy to doing that is to go to transform compute variables and we'll reset this and I'm just going to call this a new v for new variable and at this point I'm going to type in 1 plus and what we need is actually the minimum value on that mass.c variable so in fact let me uh, click out of here because I forgot to do one other step we're going to go to analyze descriptive statistics click on descriptives you can see mass.c over there 
and when we click on OK we get our output that it contains the minimum value right there it's negative 12.33 and if we wanted a more precise value we can just kind of uh, highlight that and uh, copy that so that's the uh, minimum value in our data set so next we'll go back to our transform compute variable and try that again we'll call this new v for new variable for the numeric expression we'll type in one plus we're going to take the absolute value of that minimum value right there which so we're taking the absolute value of negative 12.329198 uh, and so we're using this ABS function right here and then we're going to take plus mass.c that's the original variable so you can think about it this way that basically if I just use this portion of our expression then the minimum value in our data set will be zero which again would be undefined so I'm just adding a one right here so that the minimum value in our data set for that new variable will be one so I'm going to click on OK and just to uh, you can see right here here is our new variable and if you want to you can check your work very easily just go back to descriptives and we'll go down to new V move it over and click on OK and you can see the minimum value uh, in our data on that particular new variable is one so now we can generate the natural log of this particular variable uh, as part of the box Tidwell transformation so we'll go to transform compute variable I'm going to click on reset and now I'm going to type in tr mast and I'll just uh, say dot new if you will uh, and then for numeric expression we'll type in ln and then this new variable right here then uh, what we'll do is multiply it by that new variable so when we click on OK we now have our new variable that has been uh, converted using the box Tidwell transformation and so really quickly I'm gonna actually pause this for a second and compute those uh, the box Tidwell transformations for those other two variables and then we'll uh, run our logistic regression with those transform variables in in it okay so I'll click on OK right here and so now we have our three predictors that have been transformed so to run our test we're just going to go back to analyze we'll go to uh, uh, our logistic regression or binary logistic down here we'll move we've got anxiety and interest in there we'll go ahead and take our mast C variable and put that in there as before um, and then we'll move in our transform variables so we have these three variables right here we'll move them in and we'll click on OK and so now we get our output to test the uh, linearity of the logit assumption so you can see right here that the um, our three transformed predictor variables right here all three of those are not statistically significant so that would be an indication again that we uh, have not violated the assumption of linearity of the logit okay so that uh, pretty well wraps up this demonstration and I appreciate you watching